should not be smoking when I'm this sick. Um, <coughs> this is use about the hair at my channel. Um, Big Lundy, uh, you know me from the John Hunt Dweller channel. Um, the only reason I say that is because you referenced me in that, and um, I actually said thanks and shout out or whatever. Because I did make a video saying that if God asked me to kill a child, I'd tell him to go fuck off. <coughs> but the God of Eastern Orthodoxy is not the God of Western Christianity, so it there's a huge gap, and <coughs> many times people mistake me for being Jewish, or they mistake me for being a fundamentalist, because they don't know what Eastern Orthodoxy is, and I'm actually specific, t I'm not just OCM, I'm Antiochian Orthodox, from the Sea of Damascus, and I'm making this video commenting on <coughs> your debate, sorry, I'm actually very sick right now, I should not have been smoking. Um, I just wanted to, um, make it, uh, th this is something that, and I know you're not really debating with Bilzy Bob anymore, but it's funny that that passage was picked out because that's not original to the text. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it stunned me when Bilzy Bob said he wouldn't pick up a Dawkins book or a Hitchens book or a Harris book, so why would he need to? And I saw your other video about the echo chamber, and I think that's what he got caught into. He doesn't need to actually find out why these beliefs are. Like, me and you, we've, I'm guessing you too, have probably read David Hume. And you can see, okay, some of his points, then some of his points go out crazy, in my belief, but, or my view, not belief, just opinion. Um, <coughs> the two funny things about this, and, well, first of all, I gotta get, son, <laughs> I gotta give you credit for doing the Bill O'Reilly thing. You know, fuck it, we're going live. But that was fantastic. Um, divinely inspired and dictation are two different. The Quran. I don't have a Quran in arm's length, which is very funny because I usually. Oh, I'm not going to go up to get it. All right. <coughs> um, that's dictation. That's Allah to Jibrail to Muhammad. Muhammad ibn Abdullah. Um, and, uh, <coughs> basically writing the words on the page that God tells him to. We have gospel accounts, four of them, um, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, that are in the Western Bibles. The other codices have different ones, <coughs> but for this we're just going to use, um, the compilation that is found in Athanasius's letter in 367. Christianity existed long be <laughs> 367 years before this compilation comes out, and even after then the codices we see they have Shepherd of Hermes in there. They have so many different books. They have, they have minus a lot of those books. Uh, a lot of them don't have Second Peter. That's beside the point. But no Christians anywhere, I mean, again, biblical, uh, the idea that the Bible is the word of God is 100% true, uh, biblical literalism, this is all a new fad that, and I think you mentioned this in one of your videos, it's only about 120 years old. It may be a little older than that, but it's not historic Christianity. This is why I'm so amazed by atheists, and I'm a fan of skeptical heretic, um, cardinal virtues, that's how I found out about you, and I'm glad that, uh, I did, because <clears throat> my first video was, um, Intelligent Atheists Are Needed for People Like Bilzy Bob. That's my first video on this channel when I switched over from John Hutwell. John Hutwell, uh, it was a saint, there were supposed to be a few other people on me, so the name of one person who lived in the third century with three people, kind of an illusion to Trinity, but then it all went crazy, and, uh, and I had people saying, well, fuck John Hutwell, and I'm like, eh not going to do that. <laughs> I'm not going to take a venerated person from my religion and then piss people off and then have them, you know, 
that's not cool. So I just had a channel with my own name on it, so people can just come after me. <coughs> Although, I have three last names, because I'm kind of ethnic. <laughs> you can tell by my name. Um, sorry, I'm sick, so it's kind of foggy in my head. Uh, yeah, the, um... These are accounts, and people say the Bible is inspired. These were people who were devoted to Christ, who were moved by the Holy Spirit, as you'd say, writing these accounts down to specific audiences at specific times for specific purposes. John was written to a very Hellenized crowd. Mark was written very sparsely, quickly, as if people already knew what was going on, um, has a lot of Aramaic words in it. Matthew is extremely Jewish. It's 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 directed towards a Jewish crowd. Many people think um, that there was a proto version of Matthew that was the gospel to the Ebionites. The Ebionites being um, a group of Jews who saw Christ as a Messiah but not as God incarnate. And then there was Luke, basically. Um, seen as a companion to Paul and is writing the Acts 2, which is like the whole story, kind of. Uh, divinely inspired. Um, Amazing Grace was divinely inspired. Um, many radical poetry is inspired by Mao. Did Mao have a hand in it? Well, yeah, he did, in the fact of his writings and his revolution and mass murder, and starvation and famine. Um, it, he w it was inspired by him, contributed to inspiration by him. Um, but it's not dictation, it's not, oh, Mao inspired me to write this, therefore it's Mao's words. Same thing with God, Christ. I mean... <coughs> In many of my videos, I hold up the Satanic Bible, which I actually think is a great read. Um, does not I again? Eastern Orthodoxy is different. We don't proselytize. All peoples go back to God. There's no heaven, and hell in the Western sense, but standing in the presence of love and truly hating is hell. So there is that. But then there's also and I, there's multiple ideas of many things because the East has no pope. It's just many different seas connected to each other by common creed. This is why it stumps me why people just don't argue about the Nicene Creed. Try to go after, because going after the Bible, it's like to, you're, you're using, you're, I mean, it's, it's nothing to do with Christianity. It's, it's, a, it's a byproduct. It's books written by the church, within the church, to the church. Um, then compiled much later after this government, which the church, I mean, it, Christianity, oh, Christian, this and that, and then there can be heretics among Christianity, but why not just attack the church in its base? So Nicene Creed, things like this. But I think it's, <coughs> when you argue with somebody who's so undereducated or miseducated, or somebody who won't listen, I mean, they can't, they, they, they don't, process what you're saying and then respond to it they just have a line that they go off of Billy Bob Bionic Dance I guess he's generic God killer now um, <coughs> uh, yeah the this form of a, it's it's not a form of atheism I don't even consider you guys form you're just normal human beings and seeing this rise of Milton atheism being a terrible thing I don't like proselytizing I think it's evil. I go. I combat it. Saying people go and say, "Oh, you're going to go to hell if you don't believe in God." Um, and I can argue from history of what the church has actually taught instead of the Bible says this. Well, you do. Who's the only interpreter of the Bible? Isn't the church the people who wrote it? So let's go find them. And then you'd have to make a choice. You'd have to say, "Okay, is Eastern Orthodoxy the oldest?" Which I believe it is. <coughs> Was the Pope right and is Roman Catholicism, which the Sea of Rome is just as ancient as Antioch, which was displaced Damascus, or Alexandria. Um, but is it right, or did it go into heresy? 
or do the Anglican Church or the Lutheran Churches still have apostolic succession, or which one are we going to go through? Or let's find a common ground between these three, or these four, the Nicene Creed. This is what stumps me about atheists, is that they don't really even know enough about the topic to attack it. <coughs> Which gets very strange when they say Christianity, Christianity, Christianity. I could whip out Marcionism, where they say everything in the Old Testament is evil and wicked. And that everything physical is horrible. And it's only spiritual that's good. You could delve into Gnosticism. It says the same thing, but then it says secret teaching, so it, anything that you're trying to read or interpret, it's all interpretation, but there's one interpretation, but it's hidden. And you have to seek out that in knowledge. I think that's why it's, uh, when you, you if you argue with people like uh, Billsy Bob, and this is just a suggestion, try to bring them to something where it's, I mean, arguing about words in the Bible is, I, I don't know, I just don't understand it. For us, um, icons were the first form of scripture since people couldn't, the vast majority of people couldn't read. <coughs> um, I think your debate with them is awesome. Um, but it just, it does no, <laughs> it does no good for him because it shows him to be him interpreting his own private interpretation of the Bible and then saying everybody else has to believe that. I think you showed that to be true. Um, I debated him back and forth a year ago or more. Maybe, yeah, about a year, probably a year ago. Um, and it just went nowhere because there was no, well, there is no Christianity. I said, you, I, I'm, let's look at it from a historical background, okay, of Nero's persecution and then going on up through, you know, say, um, Ignatius, uh, just going outside of the biblical text, the Didache, Ignatius of Antioch, um, Polycarp, Justin Martyr, um, <coughs> Irenaeus of Lyon, going at Tertullian, uh, Origen, keep going on to these things. And then look at even historical markers of non-Christians, Josephus, Tacitus, Pliny, um, Celsus, but we get Celsus from Christian sources, but it's because they're arguing against Celsus. Um, uh, again, Nero's persecution, Roman attitudes toward them up until Diocletian, then Constantine, and then, which Constantine didn't Christianize the empire, and then going on to Julian the Apostate, who became pagan, and then finally... Uh, <coughs> Theodosius, who said it's a state religion. Arguing from history of what these people said, or authoritative people like bishops, how they interpret it. Uh, which he doesn't even, it, it's, again, his faults spring from Western biblical literalism. But I came, me and, I actually came on, because gamblers, like, you gotta check this guy out. <coughs> and he said, you know what his name is? It's Beelzebub. And I was like, like, okay, whatever, that's kind of a crappy way to name a thing. And then Bill Z. Bob wanted to attribute it to me, but he might have well done that. Gambler might have been right, and um, he tried to say it was Billy Bob Thornton that inspired him. Um, no, but if you engage in these, these psychopaths, and I think it's a good thing, I don't think it's necessarily a good thing for Christianity either, or Western Christianity. I, I, again, I know this might sound like a total cop out um, if people don't aren't familiar with Eastern Orthodoxy, but um, it might seem like a cop out saying, "Well, it you know it doesn't affect Eastern Orthodoxy," but I I really don't think it does. <coughs> um, even our definition of sin is totally different than the Western one. Um, <clears throat> our views on transgender people, are, I mean, it's just, I, but I'm not here to talk about that. Um, but it's probably better for Christianity that there's people like this out there who are so obnoxious and militant that it 
it actually forces you to take a stand. Like if somebody's wearing a cross and somebody runs up, you call them baby killer and saying it slit their mom's throat if God told them to this and that. And say this person believes in evolution and everything. The person says, yeah, you, God didn't create the world. The person will retreat back and God created the world in six days. Fuck you. I've even, before I was Orthodox, I'd pull crap like that because I just dig in and just start fighting. You get nowhere with it. Um, and you have the, the the effigy or the little example of the idiot out there of see this is what atheist does. That's what atheism does. But it's not better for the world. It's not better for anybody or intelligence or or even society to have all this crap. So I think it's beautiful that you cardinal virtues um, <coughs> and skeptical heretic go after these people and debunk them and show them for the fools, the tyrants and the the hyper-religious that they are, the militant ideologues that are also very stupid and uneducated, or at least wildly miseducated. Um, it's actually probably better for skepticism and atheism, too, which I don't think are bad things. Again, this is not modern liberalism talking. I, my religion hasn't changed for 1,500 years. <clears throat> but I see all this as Western constructs of these things. Um, that's why I don't... Again, atheism... Uh, the, I've heard people talk about the house of atheists. Oh my God, can you base something around a negative? Or religion is just belief in God? And then people will bring up like communism. Oh, well, that's a secular religion. All right, well then the God thing has nothing to do with it, right? Um... I often tell people I don't believe in a god. It's <laughs> the closest thing is the Tao, because even when I write God, it's G dash D. It's not. There's no gods. It's not the Western kind. It's strange. But I just want to commend you, and I guess I'll send this to Cardinal Virtues and Skeptical Heretic, because I think you guys are doing a great job, just for the plain fact that you're actually showing people how to logically th I mean these people obviously haven't taken a philosophy class or any studied anything metaphysics and Billy Bob openly admitted he's never read Hitchens, Dawkins, Dennett or Harris. Um, I've read a few things by Dennett haven't that don't own any of his books. Hitchens I love the guy Dawkins I can't stand Harris um, I kinda like him I'm on the fence with him um, <coughs> uh, but yeah, that's it, it's just very strange to me. Uh, maybe you have the answer why they don't look at it from a historical perspective instead of saying the Bible says X, Y, and Z. When for the first 367 years, what Bible? <coughs> I mean, in in Irenaeus of Lyon, he writes down four reliable Gospels when he's trying to refute. <coughs> um, heresies, um, and he mentions Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And the beginning of the codice was a reaction to Marcionism. You probably already know this. A pretty intelligent guy. Where Marcion stripped out everything from any reference to the Old Testament, cut up version of Luke, and used uh, basically uh, edited versions of Paul's letters. Um... But yeah, it always strikes me as strange that they don't actually go after a, a creedal statement where people can't say, oh, well, it's kind of this way or that way. I mean, why not, if somebody's so logical and they're a militant atheist, why don't they have something concrete? Nicene Creed. I mean, I, it, I, I don't mean to give ammunition to atheists who see this, but <coughs> wouldn't that be better where there's basically can be no interpretation in that, and this is a creed that's stated, instead of books that are written by people according to who, and it's not claimed to be the Quran, it's not dictation. It's like people who were devoted, loyal followers of Christ writing the account the best they can, inspired by their love of Christ and the Holy Spirit. Why not go after a concrete, creedal statement? Because I don't see any Marcionites or Ebionites walking around, or I, I, I've yet to find 
a Gnostic church out there. There's the Thelemites, but that's Aleister Crowley and nothing to do with <coughs> anything in the Nag Hammadi. Um, yeah, I just want to make this video. Um, take it easy. It would be cool to actually talk to you on Skype sometime. Um, but yeah, keep it up. And I think it's good for Christianity. It would probably be better for these idiots to be roaming around. But um, yeah, that's not the world I want to live in with people just, I mean, it's better to get the fundamentalism and the crazy and the, the proselytizing out. You don't fight crazy with crazy, bigotry with bigotry, fundamentalism with fundamentalism. That's kind of my view, so. <coughs> Good job. Um, I appreciate what you're doing. Um, take it easy. And at the end of my videos, I always do this. Peace to you. May God save Serbia and Syria.